Hello and welcome everyone to Quick Album Reviews. I am the Boneless Mass, CJ Middle, and today I'm rolling on over to Final Man by Contaminated. This album has definitely grown on me. Uh, unfortunately, it also became infected. So then I had to get it surgically removed, and the doctor said, Man, this was some nasty stuff. And I said, Doc, it was pretty nasty, wasn't it? Released in 2017, Contaminated, intentionally or unintentionally, I'm not really sure, mix the Finnish style of death metal with old school death metal. That means this album comes with a scoop of doom metal, a layer of dark atmosphere, some stripped down riff structures, a pinch of groove, and it's all topped off with an overall tone that sounds like a cross between a Boss HM2 pedal, which is the Swedish death metal guitar tone pedal, and sludge metal. Sounds like a hot fudge sundae of death metal to me, and it sounds fucking delicious. I mean, what could possibly go wrong here? Well, this sundae, although it sounds fantastic, has some issues. If you separate each of the instruments' sound, they all sound fine by themselves, but when they all come together, they form this dense blob of noise. I understand that the band was going for that brutal, grimy, filthy tone, but a little CLR would have really helped. In essence, what I'm trying to say is that if the band had compressed their tone to smooth out the edges a little bit, this album would have been fucking great. Let's now address the vocals on this album. So we have Chris Barnes style vocals, which you could probably guess just means deep and guttural sounds. And now the weird part about the vocals is the fact that they don't get caught up in this massive blob. Somehow they manage to cut through and can be heard clearly and distinctively. I'm not sure why they can cut through and sound clear, yet the rest of the band can't sound that way too. It's... I just don't get it. Overall, I can appreciate Contaminated's attempt to go for the jugular of brutal and filthy death metal. However, they do fall short and instead just nick the surface of the skin, unfortunately. Being that this is the band's debut album, I do look forward to hear what they bring next. I'm hoping they keep the same style, but you know, just clean around the edges a little bit. And with that in mind, this album was a good start for the band. Anyways, thank you all for listening. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure you tell a friend to do the same. And I will see you at the next review.